cryo balloon ablation is a very neat technology that treats atrial fibrillation, uh, mostly for people that have paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, which means people that have rapid heartbeat that comes and goes, but it can be used for other forms of atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation starts in the top chambers of the heart. It starts in these two chambers. And it was found that most atrial fibrillation starts around these veins, the red spots here inside the left top chamber of the heart, which is the left atrium. And we tried to target these veins, uh, these veins that are usually four veins in the heart that drain the blood from the lungs to the heart. And atrial fibrillation is thought to start with short circuits around these veins. If we can encircle these veins and separate them electrically from the rest of the heart, atrial fibrillation stops in 70-80% of people. So cryo-balloon ablation is a technology that does that very efficiently and very quickly uh, by, this is the kind of balloon, this is not, you know, it's, it, it's deflated at the beginning of the procedure, this is just a used uh, demo. Uh, and then we introduce it through the vein here from the groin to the vein here that goes into the right top chamber of the heart and then we cross to the left top chamber of the heart where our target is and then target each one of these veins separately where we put this balloon in a vein and then inflate this balloon like that in the vein so that the vein will look like this. Uh, and then we freeze this balloon with uh, liquid nitrogen uh, and we get to very cool, cold temperatures. And this does around the horizon of the balloon a freezing ablation. Ablation means that it freezes the tissue and does a small scar around this area. And then when you remove the balloon, then there is a scar in this area here that prevents all the abnormal rhythms happening in the vein from spreading to the left atrium and to the rest of the heart. Uh, the nice thing about cryoablation in contrast to radiofrequency ablation that we use also for uh, AFib ablations is that one, it's less traumatic to the tissue. Uh, freezing is not like burning. Uh, it causes less clots uh, than uh, burns. And because we can do all lesions, uh, the encircling lesion all in once, it's a much straighter shot and it's much quicker than with radiofrequency when we have a four millimeter catheter and do one point at a time to do this circle. So the procedure time is shorter for the risk of the procedure is less because patient is not anesthetized or under sedation for that long. Uh, and the risk of stro stroke and clots are a little less with freezing rather than uh, radiofrequency.